So I've got the X, the Z axis on. <coughs> oh gosh. I'm now going to put the Y on. I'm going to put it on this side. After deciding which side should it be that side or this side. I think it's this side. That this side has got the the T nut to the uh, the lead screw for the to the table, and it sticks out quite a way. And it, it it reduces the amount of area I've got to put the uh, bracket on for the encoder. So I think I'll put it on this side. It'll be easier. Um, and then and also this side I will see it more if there's dirt or anything getting into it because it's it's really impossible to put the cover over there. And then I've got to cut this one down to put on the back of the table. So that one's going to be cut down. I'm going to put this rail on, that rail on, and then I'm going to fit both encoders. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute and show you where I'm at. So I've just looked at this side track and it's slightly angled. This, this edge is slightly angled compared to this machine face. Fairly obviously probably that there's a slight taper for when this is cast. It, it's only 1.5 degrees and I've just checked on the instructions for this and you can go plus or minus two degrees. Now what I thought is I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try this at this and see how I get on. If it's a real major problem, I will uh, I will come back and I will machine the back of this. Aha! So, um, so I've got my Y. Uh, I've got the aluminium extrusion on this is on there, and I've got it on the X as well. So X and Y, I've got the extrusion on. Um, before I go and put the magnetic strip in and everything else, I've got to make up the brackets, and I've got to do a bit of work because this bracket really wants to go on there I think this side because on this side here you can just see I've got an adjustment for the the taper here to tighten it up and I don't really want to block that off so it's got to go on this side and I've got to machine this bracket away I think so it can come across a bit and down onto here and I might have to take a bit off this back here because there's no need for all this metal but I might have to take some off there as well I'll, I'll make the bracket out of this one and machine it out of this and I might have to make a specialist bracket um, to do something a bit better because this this might I might lose a lot of strength when I start machining this away but I'll give it a go to start with um, and then for this one again I'm thinking similar sort of bracket but I've got a machine again quite a bit out the side here and what I might have to do is just put a little bracket out of here just to support it same on that side as well you know put a bracket in move it across and put it on as far as I can and then maybe do a little bit of support work off the other edge. Um, so first of all I'm going to mark these up, um, mark up the brackets, machine them which means I need to put some covers back on them on the mill so that I can use it again, I'll do that. Um, machine these up and then I'll fit these onto here and one onto there. That's, so that's my next job and I'll come back to you in a bit. So I've got I've got the Z-axis working, that's really good. And I'm just going to machine this bracket. So this is the aluminium bracket that's going to go on the on the back for the Z-axis. So let's just uh, fire this up. I'm going to put it here. Fantastic. And I might just take a massive cut into it, I think. Whoops, wrong way, that's, that's stupid, isn't it? So yeah, it's negative, going down. So going down in Z, which is, that's the right way. Let's go down to 0.1, negative. Easy. And then just going to take this. I'll take this with the lump out, and then we'll go for a big of cut. Wind this down to one millimetre. That was, that was so good. I've got a slight bit of, of, of slightly tightened up the uh, the travel up, so that I've got a bit of control. Well, if I put my hand on this, I can probably move this down. No, not much. That's all right. It is moving while it's cutting slightly, which is one of the things, it's probably not tight enough, so we'll take it up to two, let's go to two, 
the steel tip. Oh, this is so fabulous. Two. And that's pretty much, let me just set that guy off to zero on that hand wheel. And then I'll check the hand wheel against the gauge, against this, uh, the DRA. Can go round. This should be exactly one millimetre on the hand wheel on the lines. Put my glasses down so I can read it. There you are. Slightly. And dial is well, it's pretty close. So this is the um, this is the X axis setup that goes on onto the bed plate like that, and then the the magnetic encoder works on here. Um, the issue is that the cover doesn't work. Hang on, let me get that cover into focus. There, the cover wants to come to there. Um, so what I need to do is move that support from there to underneath so i'm gonna i'm gonna change i'm gonna machine this this thinner and then put it underneath there and then i'll also have to bolt it from that way as well so there'll be bolts that will be blind into the sensor and then it will be mounted onto this bracket it might be a problem but um so i'll do the machining on that uh on this on this bracket and make it a very thin slice that sits under there and then uh we'll see where we go from there all right, see you in a bit. Aha! Oh, so I've I've um shrunk this bracket down. I've mounted the sensor now on the side of it to this bracket. So this is now my x-axis, which will go on there. I've just got to line it up and and just adjust it. Um, but what happens now is the, the cover will go over the top which is fabulous so the cover fits so thank you to everyone on instagram coming back to me because i was uh, i was struggling with how it fitted but that's brilliant i've managed to shrink this bracket right down for this uh, x sensor and now the cover it goes over the top i've just got to fit that on just got to drill and screw that on there and i'm pretty complete it'd be nice to get a bit of a cover over here um, I've got to think what to do on here because it's the wrong way around totally and I, there's no way to shrink it to get to that point um, It'd end up as a catcher anyway because it's moving the wrong way around so I'll, th I'll think about how to put some form of cover on there just to stop so much rubbish going into there that would be good that's all but this one does need a proper cover and I've got it now so I'm going to slide this just on hopefully yeah. A little bit of jiggery pokery to get the nuts lined up. Okay, after a while. Yep. Ah. Oh. I've just got to find a an Allen key the right size, and we'll no. Let's find one. Ah. Uh -huh. So. So get this equal each end. Get the central and we'll just tighten it up. Fabulous. Now I know it's not perfect, but I couldn't I couldn't get a, a cover on this um y-axis uh, magnetic scale. So what I've done is I fitted the cover actually onto the I've cut it out and relieved it so it goes over the top of the optical sensor and then it moves with the whole saddle. Now, not perfect because it does still expose the saddle, but for most of the time, for most work, um, it will just keep enough of that that only the ends of the scale will, will catch anything. And it just gives me that a bit more protection, as I said. So if you get time, just, uh, uh, where's my finger? Subscribe on the button below. Um, hopefully then you'll see me using this middle machine to make a lot of uh, models, miniatures, making stuff, making engines, making all sorts over the time. So subscribe, as I said below, and we'll, uh, we'll catch everything that I make.